All right. Um, this is the first time voice altering to Grasshopper tutorials. So, but I'm not sure how it's gonna be. Mm, I might just gonna shut up at some point when I concentrate. Uh, I'll try to do my best. So this time I would like to make a origami structures using grasshoppers. Okay, let's drop that. So first off, let's make a square grid. And let's make the the number of x and y to be 5 and the size to be 1 for now and let's have uh, let's explode the rectangle curve to four edges then Take the middle point of the edges right and then poly polyline close it and Shift the list, oops, shift the path, group it, flatten it, dispatch, Move the the odd number one uh, or the even number one to the x direction. Oh wait, I think I might need to flip the matrix here. Yeah, and the x direction half the size of the grid. Group this for this one. Simplify these and merge together and let's ungroup this. Alright, I don't need to show the plane. Okay. these and 
Remove duplicate lines. Okay. No, I don't need the curve on the edge. That's outside the rectangle. Or should I say the paper plane to fold? So let's get the middle point for these one. Okay, and make the rectangle multiply to get a X and Y. That's like a bounding rectangle. And point in curve to check. Right, and uh, if the number of two is inside, so I only need the one inside. And this patch needs to have All the line All right. Expo these and let's Let's 
split this plane using split surface right now I got these let's convert to simple mesh join the mesh all right okay let's set a kangaroo here then now what i need first is of course the geometry to show let's get give and merge here and another one i need always it's a not, not this one the lengths a spring and I can get the edges using the mesh edges get the naked edge and the inner edge competitive spring Okay, then Boolean Okay, and uh, I also want the floor. And some uh, gravity for all the points in the mesh. Uh, so I need to to the Z direction Okay Last of all, most importantly, I need to give a folding force, which I could use, could be either the angle or um, a hinge, I guess this hinge could work, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six parameters, huh? And the thing I need to fold is the line I need to fold is these. The these curves. So the thing I need is the mesh that shares this line. I mean this edge. On this mesh so if this is the line then this is is the mesh that I need the mesh that which shares the this edge so I need to search it for so for each edges take a graft and uh, there's the mesh here and pull geometry or pull point um
Hmm. Might not be a good idea. Closest mesh closest point. Does it give? Uh, let's try. So these are. Get the uh, center point of the edge. And the mesh be here. And I get the point here. Location on mesh closest to the search point. Ah, uh, so if it's smaller than wait a minute. Um, what would happen if I use mass multiplication here? Uh, pretty fast. And zero, 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 zero. Oh, everything is zero. Hmm. Is smaller than point zero zero one. And call the geometry. Right, and join the mesh. Weld it. And Get the edge. <laughs> hmm. Join the outside curve. Control. Get a control point. Now, thing is, you don't know whether if it's you don't know if the curve is curves point order is clockwise or counterclockwise, so I want to make it mm, consistent. Meaning, I could make it consistent using a simple trick. Make a really small offset curve and get the area for each curve. Compare those together. Maybe this is too small. I'll make it Yeah. 
I think some of the curves are going in inside, some going outside when we offset it, so I'm sure some of the point order is not consistent, so and I can see by see that by making an offset. Yeah, some are true, some are false. Okay. Let's dispatch flip it and merge it. Okay. All right. Now Control point, remove duplicate point, All right, and Okay, let's dispatch it. And make, uh, finally I use this one. Tip one, tip two, fold start, fold end, and the rest angle to be hmm. Okay, and let's put it here. Right. Huh. Bit weird. Huh. Not sure what's happening.
All right. I don't have. So I have 450. Okay. I, I think I need to remove the duplicate here. All right. And. Mm, Okay, let's raise up the plane a little bit upward. Still. I'm not sure what's happening. Okay, maybe I can make the strength of the floor a little bit weaker. Huh, or stronger. Or a hundred. And let's disable these. And it's not changing anything, obviously. That's because I'm just picking up one here. Right. What if I change this to 100? Change this. Or maybe the floor is too strong. Let me change this to one. Yeah. But um, the other side is better, I think. Let me preview it with a color. In order to make it the other side, I think I need to give it a negative value here. Alright. Alright, it's working. Good, good, good. Now, let's make it a little bit bigger. Uh, 
something like, I don't know, 15? Would it be too slow to calculate it? Oh yeah, maybe a bit slow. I'll Oh. oh, it's tons of calculations. I wish I was using multi-thread. No offense. Um, anyway. Let's try. Alright. Oh, broken up. Let's make it 10. Okay. Going well. Going well. 